and welcome back guys as you can see we are still here like we left off in the previous session i'm going to start with by moving all of these nerve surfaces let's first turn on surface selection mode all of these nerve surfaces to their own layer double click it so i can rename it and i can go just call it nerves underscore l for layer i can also make sure all the history on these guys are gone and dusted great so all of these guys are great this guy's surface just needs to be reversed because remember i mirrored it over and then yeah let's start off by converting these guys into polygons so curves are invisible image planes are invisible we have this as a base to start with now let's start with simple objects up here yeah, we've got a little button and then we want to convert this into a polygon so we're going to go into modify and we're going to go to convert nerves to poly and we're going to go its options yeah now i'm going to do a few things as well for surface to act so i can view the nerves on my surface i'm going to enable wireframe on shaded i'm going to grab this guy and now as you can see let's first reset this is the default options the convert nerves to poly want to create triangles rather than quads which is already wrong we would like it to keep it as quads now the tessellation method is fit which I do not use because there's a lot more complex options in here that we'd actually need. We can do one of three other options that is much better. We can go general, which is always a good one. Now, as you can see, yeah, we've got a different bunch of different options. This basically refers to how many polygon edges we want per isopalm. So I'm just going to go per isopalm. I'm going to drop it down to one and then this guy for isopalm drop it down to like one and we can click apply and we should be able to see our here we go a little shy polygon in there let's move it pivot to the center as you can see there is our little button if i press three on it i get the same curvature and shape as i did before as you can see i've lost some volume so maybe i need to add a bit more resolution so let's go and figure out which direction is u and which direction is v so i'm going to go increase the u number and click apply and as you can see i've added a lot more resolution so now it looks like a spider web but i need more resolution coming in here to cut these pizza slices even narrower so i'm going to go maybe this guy to three this guy we can go five friend not an unequal number let's go six and click apply that creates a lot of extra so let's not do that much maybe two click apply that should be enough resolution for us to keep our shape there we go now we've got a polygon we've got a few triangles to sort out but that's not as bad now i want to get this guy let's see if the same settings help or does the same kind of job we can do this and as you can see it adds quite enough resolution for this guy to pull in the gaps as it needs to which is always a bonus when things just work out that way now, this big face is going to be a lot more complex when it comes to adding in information because as you can see it currently has no isopalms so there's a good chance if i do this it potentially will freak out as you see it did freak out because it has all these weird angon faces everywhere so let's go and say rather than general let's go to count so here we tell it we would like around x number of faces so let's try 100 faces and click apply as you can see that is not enough let's undo that maybe let's let's go crazy and let's go 500 and click apply as you can see that gives us a nice distribution of polygons that we can go and clean up after the fact i'm just missing two verts here at the corners so let's go see if i go 502 if it adds those in no it doesn't add them in somewhere else but also remember guys do not just jump head first into a multitude of polygons try and get away with as little as possible as the mantra goes so it becomes a little bit easier to clean up let's go try 350 click apply i like this distribution of faces on this object which is not bad because it gives us enough resolution to create circles there if we need well when we do it still has our cubes nicely sorted out and in here we can see there are verts missing so maybe not 300 let's go i'm gonna go up to 600 now click create that maintains that round is pretty well now let's see what else still a very dense piece of mesh but i think that is the highest i am going to go then 
what I can do is I can go, if I turn off my NURB surface options, I can only see my polygons. I'm gonna go grab this guy. Now we can try out control points. So it's gonna make a vert basically for every CV. If we click apply, as you can see, the same exact topology was used as what the NURB surface was in. So if I just go and undo that, so for you to see, as you can see, there are six edges up here, ah, six isopalms up there, three on the side, one there, and so on and so forth. If we click apply, you'll see it. we've still got our, well, we've got four here to maintain that curvature. We've got our four in here. So Maya did its best with the least number of polygons to get our surface out. Now we can do the same for this guy and this guy. Let's go and apply. As you can see, we've got our nice little seam line and all that good stuff going for us. Now, what I remember was, now I need to do this guy. Let's try count on it. As you can see, that is not enough for it to stay in shape. Let's go back into general and three by two worked quite nicely for the previous one, which is great. You can grab all of these and go apply. This guy also worked nice with three by one. These guys apply. And now we've got all, not all. Let's go grab this guy and let's see three by one. That's quite a nice surface. Go this guy, three by one. That generates a lot of topology that I don't want. So let's go to count and click apply. Wow, that just makes a very, that makes the original NURB surface. Ugh. So I use control points and as soon as I click apply, you can see it brings back the entire NURB surface that was hidden. We can try count, maybe not 600 in this tiny thing. Let's go 200 and click apply. That is, mm, that's actually not too bad. And now we can go grab these guys and let's try count on them. They should give us the nice clean result that we are going for. There are some places where we're gonna need to insert our own holding edges, which is not too bad and click apply. And as you can see, if I grab these two, I need to grab the polygon polygon and three the smooth view or smooth preview lines up quite nicely the edges actually line up quite nicely and now i've got everything back into a polygon shape as you can see here we're going to need to clean up here by adding additional edges and all that good stuff like we're used to doing but as you can see we start off with a much cleaner topology mesh so that we can start editing and get a renderable version for this object so the last few things that I might well do on this section is I'm going to go right click and edge one every second one see if I did this correct skip skip boom and boom I can go and delete that's all nice and quadified down here do the same dealio you skip you skip you skip you skip you skip you skip you and skip you and press delete now if I was a smart guy I would have done one and just duplicated them all back into the spaces they would have need while they need to be but hey I'm a sucker for punishment, it seems. Press delete. Edge mode. Dun, 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 dun. Not that guy, but this guy, then that guy. Yeah. That guy, that guy, that guy, and that guy, and that guy. Do, 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 do. There's only two more, so it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Delete that. Edge. That guy, that guy. Press delete. Right click. Now, if we want to test out what Maya gave us, we can go select that edge there and click our circularize tool and as you can see it creates a nice circle i would just prefer to not put so much tension on those edges i would also prefer matching up the number of edges to what's in here so currently i've got 16 edges i go in here and double click i've got 16 edges so it seems they line up quite nicely actually and now i should be able to line up these corners with one another like oh almost i'm gonna do that i'm gonna go j let's see if i can snap them my snapping is too much. It's snapping in 15 degree in increment. So if I double click on this guy on our rotation tool, go open it up, open it up. And then we can go in here, snap steps. As you can see, it's set to 15. We can just go to relative. We can go maybe drop this down to 10 degrees. Let's see if that snapping helps. No, close that. Let's 
go turn this off again, but leave it at 10. Then I can go in here, hold down J. Now it's going in 10 degree increments. That seems to line up quite well. So if I go the other way, should be able to get the same lineup. Great. Other than those edges not being the center of this little guy. So I'm just going to do that. Use my center, pop them in there, that direction, pop them in there. And now my button is nice in the center of a cozy little hole. I would do the same for all the remaining holes and clean up all this bad and gone topology but with this i'm going to end off this section using nerve surfaces and i shall catch you in the next section